Hi, it's Hillary here. Hello. Uh, a little information about chords, and uh, we'll start with talking about tuning a little bit, and then we'll um, talk about the 1, 4, and 5 chords for two different tunings. Okay? So here is a banjo tuned in G. It's an open tuning, which means you strum that those strings without anything with you doing anything with your left hand, and you have a G chord. When you write down uh, tunings, you'd write a small letter for the fifth string, the short string, normally, and then um, then continue with a fourth string, third string, first string, a uh, second string, first string. So uh, in this tuning, we've got a G here, and then the fourth string is a D, and then the third string is another G, an octave down from, from, from this, this string one. Um, this, the next string is a B, and finally the first string is another D. So you notice you've got two pairs of octaves. You've got... And then you've also got... So you've got two Gs and two Ds, and then you've got a B there. So um, if you don't have a tuner, um, you can tune in tune to yourself, may not work for playing with other people, depending on where your banjo is starting out, but on a desert island it works really well. So, um, uh, if you fret the fourth string at the fifth fret, and then play the uh, third string, it should be the same. And then go to the third string, and play it at the fourth fret, and then play the second string. Those should be roughly equivalent as well. Now, play the second string at the second fret, and that should be like the first string. And then play your first string at the fifth fret, and that should be like your fifth string. I mean, so, first string should be like your fifth string, okay? There's one way to just uh, tune to yourself. Um, now, I use... Uh, there's all kinds of people. A lot of people use snarks as a tuner, uh, different things. I use something called, uh, on my iPhone, let's see, let's open up this other one. One of the ones I use is called Tunable. Why is this not going back to its home page? Well, anyway, it looks like this, and it will tell you, it will tell you whether you're sharp or flat. Uh, it's not listening to me very well right now. And then there's this one, which is Clear tune. This one's really common too. Different different banjos. I use um, like I like this one actually for this this one uh, better. And there's free tuners and tuners that cost you know ninety nine cents or whatever. So in this tuning, if you play a chord um, that is a G chord, you don't have to do anything with your left hand. It's an open G. Okay. There are other places to play a G chord, but we're not go in there yet. Uh, we're just going to go with three basic chord shapes, okay? So, um, we might call, refer to this G as the one chord for the key of G. Um, you might hear guitar players, well, other people, <laughs> just uh, saying, you know, one, four, one, five, you know, giving numbers, and you might be in the dark about that. It just means the chord that starts on the first note of this, of this death scale, starts on the fourth note of the scale, starts on the fifth note of the scale, those are one, four, and five. I'm going to show you the one, four, and five chords. So the G is the one in this case, nothing to learn, it's an open chord. Here's a four chord. This is a C chord. And uh, to, to make it, you're going to play, place your finger on uh, the first string at the second fret with your ring finger, then your index finger on the second string at the first fret, and then put your middle finger over on the fourth string at the second fret. That is a C chord. That's the four chord. Take that off. Okay, let's play a D, D chord. And actually, to make it easier on ourselves, we're going to play a D7, which is just a really easy chord to play. So put your index finger on the, I'm sorry, it's in my throat, second uh, string at the first fret, and then put your middle finger down on the third string at the second fret. 
there's your D7 chord. So what you want to do is get in your head that it's a good idea to be able to practice and to go smoothly from any of these chords. Okay, so just make up whatever you want to do. Just go bum diddy bum diddy with your right hand. Um, that's in a different video. You can check that out. And, and get comfortable with using these three chords in the key of G. Okay, there's three more chords you need to get used to. Oh, uh, let me say a word about capos. You can, um, you can put a capo on at the second fret and be playing in A. The main keys that most fiddle tunes that you're going to encounter in the first five years of playing banjo are going to be in G or C, or they're going to be in A, A or in D, or in maybe A modal, okay? So you can get, you, you hear you're playing, if you put your capo on, you're playing the same thing. But you got to tune your fifth string up to, up to A. And you usually have to go back and kind of, when you put a capo on, you kind of have to tweak your other strings a little bit. Just get your tuner out and, and use them to tweak them a little tiny bit. But now you're playing in the key of A with the same chord shapes. Just pretend this was your nut. And, and when I say second fret, I mean this one instead of this one where it is. Okay. So uh, there are various types of tuners. There's another kind that looks like this. The other kind I was just using is called a Kaiser. Um, there's lots of different kinds of tuners. Um, I wouldn't recommend those elastic band kind. They're like super cheap, but none of them cost a fortune. So, so I had that tuned up to A. So now let's put it in a C tuning and learn chords for C tuning. So uh, properly we'd call this a double C. So um, two notes change to get to double C. Let's do this this uh, B string first, the second string. We're going to tune this up to C. Now, actually I wasn't going to teach you this tuning, but I'll just teach you. This is a modal tuning now. If you don't mess with the fourth string, you just tune this one up to C. You have... modal tuning, a minor sounding tuning. So, but, so we've tuned this up to C. Now, this fourth string was at a D. We're going to go down to C. Now we're in double C tuning, okay? Uh, double C is going to be G, C, G, C, and then this is still a D. We didn't mess with that. We actually didn't mess with that G in the middle either. But like I said, sometimes you're going to have to tweak those tunings. When you tune those two strings, it, it, it changes the amount of tension on the neck and might pull a little bit and make it so you have to adjust a little bit. So now, in the key of G, when you just strum it open, it's an open, it's a G chord. But in this tuning, uh, to make a C chord, you have to put one finger down just behind the first fret. I mean the second fret. And that is your C chord. So that's one you gotta learn. Uh, the next the next chord you want to learn is your four chord, which is an F in this tuning. So this is your F chord. So uh, put your index finger here on the third string at the second fret and then put your index finger I'm just moving my finger to get it out of the way you can see on the first string at the third fret. This isn't playing anything. Go back to your C. Go back here. F, C, F, C. Okay. So then you also need a five chord. So let's go with uh, a five chord in the way I like to play it the most. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't know. If I'm, I don't know. But here's a, here's a five chord. This is a G. So all I'm doing here 
is playing the fourth string at the second fret and the the uh, third string at the second fret. Okay, so go back to the C, to the G, to the C, to the G, to the C, to the G, to the F. <laughs> back to the C. So you want to practice going back and forth from each chord shape to another chord shape. While you're practicing, you might as well be practicing your bum ditty. So you could be going bum ditty 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 bum. And it doesn't matter in what order you practice them. Um, just tell yourself what you're going for, and then go for it. And uh, and that's kind of. Uh, so you're going to find that a lot of basic folk songs are able to be played with a, a, a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. They're very, very handy. You'll see people's bumper stickers at festivals. Um, I've seen one. I don't know whose it is. It says one, uh, I, I, V, V. And those of us who, who play old time music tend to know just what they're talking about. Uh, so that's all I wanted to... Um, touch on at this moment and um, so uh, uh, good luck play along um, uh, with um, with me on other uh, uh, videos and if you uh, if you were previously con confused about some of those chords let's hope you practice them enough to where you can remember how to play them all right <laughs>